Hey everyone, welcome to Kitchen Party. Oops, this is not Kitchen Party. Welcome to Cookbook Cafe. <laughs> I have been do we've been doing Kitchen Party for it's a show that we produce on Thursdays for 15 weeks now. So it is like top of mind. But I'm really excited about Cookbook Cafe. It's a new show that we're producing every single Wednesday, which is going to feature a new cookbook author using the Cookbook Cafe platform on Bakespace.com. Now, what is that? If you've ever dreamt of creating a cookbook, you can as both an ebook and as an iPad app. And if you want to check it out, you can go to cookbookcafe.com or Bakespace.com and click on the Cookbook Cafe uh, menu bar. Uh, I'm so excited. My name is Babette Pepe. I am the founder and CEO of Bakespace.com. And we have Derek Cross with us. He's one of our authors. When I saw Derek's cookbook, Derek, you want to say hi? Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, when I saw your cookbook, I was so impressed because I was like, the first one that caught my mind was like hemp. I was like, hemp? Hemp cooking? And I That's thought, right. okay, this guy, I got to meet. This guy uh, is interesting, he's creative, and he has some amazing recipes, uh, which we will go through in the show. So, um, Derek, where are you from? Um, I'm originally from West Chicago, Illinois, and then um, I moved from Illinois to the upper north, Midwest, moved to Minnesota, and then Wisconsin, and now I migrated south like a little bird, and here I am in Texas, just outside of Dallas. I was just going to say, you know, um, <laughs> you went like everywhere cold. Every, That's everywhere. Right. <laughs> I mean, I've been to Minnesota, which the people are extremely lovely. It's beautiful there, like for a very short period of time where it's like green. And then all of a sudden I told everyone who I've met, they're like, I've, I've been to Minnesota, I've been to Minnesota. They're like, what time of year? And I said, July. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, come like, you know, when it gets really, really hot in August or when it gets really, really cold. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. I'm originally oh, from it's Michigan. Cold. Yeah, oh, it's I cold. Mean, what's the coldest you think you've been? Um, well, I used to do winter camping, and I survived minus 10 below, and that was without the wind chill. That was normal outside. Call me crazy. But uh, winter camping up in Wisconsin is a little frigid. So Have, have you ever done where you um, ice fish? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Hey, <laughs> we go ice fishing all the time. <laughs> we call it a Fargan ice hole. A what? A Fargan ice hole? What does that mean? Uh, it's just a Wisconsin term. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I belong in Southern California. It's The funniest thing I've seen recently was Jimmy Kimmel did a thing where he did a montage of all the newscasters saying it's really cold in L.A. and when it's like under, you know, like it's like 50. And I, that's actually probably the coldest I will get. Um, oh, I am right. not a cold weather person, so I... I commend you for moving south. Uh, what part of Texas? Um, I'm just outside of Dallas, Texas. I'm just in the suburb north of, it's called Frisco, Frisco, Texas. Well, I love the big D. That's my, uh, I went there once to produce, I produced television for 12 years, and I was producing a show that um, it was a, a girl who loved horses, and she had like all these horses in her backyard. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was very, really fun. I, I'm going to Austin in March, and uh, I heard that like Texas is like one part of Texas, and Austin is like its own little <laughs> it, like, a different, a different part of Texas. <laughs> yeah. I've not been there yet. I, I look to get down there. I hear it's pretty, and there's a lot to do in Austin, so I, I plan on venturing there. I've been to Houston and Dallas and other parts, but not, I haven't been to Austin yet. Maybe I'll head down. In oh, March. you should. You should. Yeah. Um, it's during South by Southwest, so just know that the hotels are extremely expensive. So if you are thinking about doing that, book your hotel now sure. or like on the outskirts of town. Just just be prepared because it's it's incredibly insane. Um, so uh, food, hemp. How, how did this happen? How did you? <laughs> well, how did hemp happen? I guess. Um, a couple things. Uh, a a big a big factor was. Um, I was going through uh, finding things to put on my skin. I, I think I mentioned it in my, um, in my little um, bio that hemp oil is like a magic skin eraser. It erases and takes the eczema off your skin. And um, it does things that you don't get from like a baby oil. You can consume it right out of the bottle and apply it right to your skin. 
So it's healing both on the outside and the inside. It's um, it was amazing how I stumbled across it, and it's also as an anti-inflammatory. And I had uh, recently had a, a hernia surgery, and I was trying to get anything that wasn't a pharmaceutical to help ease my pains. And um, I'm allergic to like cortisone, so any kind of cortisone cream would just make the eczema worse. So um, I got turned on to the hemp. I was just scrolling through the internet. And I think it was one of my buddies over at Hippie Butter, um, hemp seed products. And I ordered some from him, and I put it out right on my skin. And I think it was probably about a week or so later, I saw the excellent results. And then I started just going from there. And then um, I was actually looking to brand myself, and I, possibly down the road I will. And what I'll do is, if I do choose to go that way, um, a lot of my questions from people was, what do you do with the hemp seeds? What do you do with the hemp oil? And I was like, oh. So I just started realizing, finding recipes with others, and then just kind of um, doing my own thing and coming up with different recipes or adding on to other ones. And when you have a product that you can, I brought some hemp oil right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, totally. And you can put that right onto your skin and you eat it. And then it's got a fresh, nutty flavor. Um, but the thing with hemp was when you're using hemp, you don't want to use it at a, a high cooking temperature um, because it's the high in vegetable matter. And you always want to make sure that you keep your hemp in the refrigerator or in the freezer um, because it is plant matter and it has a longer shelf life. And then I also brought along a bowl of hemp seeds. Um, not everybody is familiar with hemp. And um, so it's a growing market right now. Um, I know you live out in California, and then there's a different kind of hemp. But um, <laughs> I'm talking about the industrial hemp. I know a lot, a lot of people, a lot of my friends are like, oh, you're cooking with cannabis. And I'm like, well, it's cannabis's cousin. It's not necessarily um, – there's two different types of corn. There's sweet corn, and then there's field corn. They both produce corn, but one's got a little different. And the seeds actually don't contain um, – the high levels of THC like you would find in cannabis. So when I'm making my hemp brownies, I'm not making pot brownies per se. That's where the confusion gets in. Now, there are other chefs out there that do make a living on that. <laughs> and if I ever move to Colorado, Washington, or California, maybe, <laughs> maybe, just maybe I'll do something at that. But um, when you go and you look at the actual health benefits you know, that you can get from hemp. You know, um, I've seen a couple of your past shows, and I know that you're a vegetarian. And vegetarian and vegans... I do not do well in Texas. No, <laughs> That's well, one thing I know. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian, but I, I, I have a lot of friends that are, and some vegan friends. And they also tell me that it, it's one of your primary source of protein. I mean, hemp, when you actually, if you look at my blog, I, I also run a blog, and I'm also on Twitter. But um, What's the blog you, URL? Um, I am on, uh, what is it, http backslash backslash hemphealthytoday.blogspot.com. And um, I've only been operating that for uh, just about over a year, and I've had have had over 10,000 viewers on, on my site there. And I, I actually, there I promote both. I advocate for both. But um, you can't be a corn manufacturer and just sell and talk about one type of corn, I guess. So um, <laughs> the, the benefits of hemp is it's so high in protein. It's one of the highest in the plant kingdom. And hemp has been around for well over 10,000 years. And depending on what articles you read, Hemp, um, hemp has been around longer than soy, you know, and so you get the high proteins and it's completely digestible, you know, where flax doesn't, isn't fully 100%, it doesn't have the same balance. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, so I don't have all the, all the facts, I just have the facts that I can go by. Um, you have the amino acids, you, ha you have nine essential amino acids. Um, that your body doesn't produce. Hemp is, um, like I said, high in protein, 
and uh, it's got a perfect three to one ratio omega sixes and threes and it's great for lowering cholesterol um, I actually have used it and uh, I have it for the Christmas holidays and I wound up getting more of a little chin here <laughs> I was able to make that go away just by in incorporating hemp on a daily basis with my diet and um, increasing my water intake as well you know, so, you know what's strange is that I use, um, I use, uh, what are those, you just said it, the seeds. Oh my God, I use them in my seeds. flax seeds? Flax seeds every yeah. day. And I have a, um, a Vitamix. So I was a, I'm able to get like the whole, whole seeds because it does like sure. rip it apart. It's like, yep. it's crazy. We bought them by accident and I was like, oh, let's put this, of course, it's such a small thing. Like, let's put this Vitamix to the test with little hemp, you know, little <laughs> little seeds. Um, but I use those because I thought those would balance out the fruit. Um, someone told me that the uh, because of all the fruit that you put in the smoothie, you, you need something to balance it out. It'd be interesting to try it with hemp seeds. Well, you but should go and try some. Yeah, where do I where would I find hemp seeds? Uh, well, like I say, I uh, my friends. Uh, well, I have quite a few friends in the hemp industry, so I. Uh, I would say you can get them online direct at uh, like hippiebutter.com, Hemp Food Canada, Hemp Oil Canada. Um, you can get them from Nativa, Manitoba Harvest, um, Nativa. Is, is there a problem uh, with can, shipping those or anything like that? Well, There's nothing like uh, well, there is, no, no, no. You, it's because um, here in America, you can consume hemp, but hemp is not legal to grow here in America. Um, so I have a friend that made the statement, and I, I, I've put it out there before, um, not having hemp in America is like starving next to a loaf of bread hmm. because we have to import it. Now, I'm not going to get all into the, you know, I do believe that hemp should be back here in America. It used to be a strong part of our American culture, but um, until they get that figured out in in Congress or whatever, I know a lot of, <laughs> a lot of states, but hemp. I is, think they have a lot to work through right now. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah, yeah, they sure do. I, they, I would not want that job. <laughs> you no, know, but they should be working overtime, is what they should. Be doing. So, but um, anyhow, not to get off track, the yeah, yeah. the hemp products are just phenomenal source of health, and when you have the industrial hemp, as I call it, and then you have all the great benefits that you can get from the seed, I would like to see it planted once again in the grounds of America. There's other agricultural benefits that hemp provides to, um, to the soils. It actually puts nitrogen back into the soil. And um, when hemp is produced and grown, it actually was used, It's a they say it's a great rotation crop just for the simple fact that hemp blocks out all the weeds down below weeds don't grow and so um, when you plant hemp it's like in tight rows and then when you're growing uh, medical cannabis that grows feet apart from each other but the hemp um, they used it as a rotation crop because the farmers then wouldn't have to go through and do extra work to get the weeds out of their field and so, I mean, a lot of people, I yeah. love educating. I've, I'm still learning, and I, I love being able to spread the word because a lot of my friends look at me and they think, oh, my God, you're just doing pop brownies. I'm like, no, I'm making vinaigrettes here, people. <laughs> and the, the, the thing is, is with the hemp seed, it contains little to no THC. And what, what people get confused about is the actual marijuana um, is the flowering and of the plant is where the THC is hosted. The seeds do not. Mm. So when you sit here and you have the seeds, and I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you if you do eat them, they kind of sometimes get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> but um, it's an excellent source of brain food. So that's pretty cool. No, I love that. You're I love that you did a whole series because when when you first did the first cookbook. It was hemp healthy cooking, hemp for breakfast, and that's then the one we're going to actually talk about today. I think that's uh, the breakfast is great. That's actually my worst meal of the day. Well, I'm I, like, what am I going to eat? Yeah, that's correct. I love it because it's it consists of a lot of smoothies and a lot of different ways, yeah. like you were talking about putting that in with your flax. And um, when you research it, if you got time, you research the the benefits in the the digestible track. 
you'll you'll be totally amazed. Um, I will I will definitely do that. Well, I wanted to make sure we talk about what we're gonna. You know, the the goal today was to talk about the Hemp for Lunch Cookbook. Now, what what was the inspiration for some of these recipes? Was it that for people to take it uh, to work with them, or was it for well, people it, to? Yes, it was kind of. Um, well, I know there's only um, a few. Um, I I guess I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound mixed up here, but my whole goal was to make a series and break it down. So um, when I found your site, Bake Space, I was able to create small little cookbooks. Having the iPad app is just terrific because you can use it and people are using that I guess more and more in their kitchen they don't have to put a shelf load of books carry it with them you can carry it with you wherever you go so if you want a smoothie on the run you got your iPad you got it right there and then when you're dealing with um, the hemp products you go and you look and it's all right there you it's broken down to breakfast instead of a whole book where you have the contents and you got a page through that was my whole thought process of making the series and then I'm working currently right now on the dinner one if you couldn't tell I want to know what the dessert one is I'm such uh, a sweet we're working on the dessert <laughs> um, there's a lot well brownies are in there um, um, I'm gonna have to make those yeah a, you know, and then you make a hemp oatmeal cookies and oh, a bunch of good. You know what would be good is um, do you have in your breakfast one hemp um, oatmeal? Yes I do. I have a, a hemp oatmeal. I don't have it in front of me right now but okay. uh, yes I do. It. That sounds yeah. delicious because I've been trying to do more oatmeal and my biggest problem is protein of trying to get because I don't like fish like I just have never liked fish like since the beginning of time people are always like how could you not like fish and I'm like have you smelled that? It's like terrible. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I am always like debating and I you know every time I go to a restaurant I'm always like is today the day that I will break and I will every Thanksgiving and this has like been like five years every Thanksgiving I see everyone else's plates and they have like all this amazing food and here I am with like my little side like a whole thing of like mashed potatoes um, sure. so I have been desperate to find stuff for protein. Well um, there you have it. Get your hemp yeah. girl. And you know. the other thing you mentioned fish is the hemp is actually beneficial for pregnant women that can't take fish oil because it's so high in omegas, three, sixes, and nines. They can get that and not have to worry about the toxicity of mercury. So pregnant women, vegans, vegetarians, it's high in protein. Girl, you need to go check it out. <laughs> you go make yourself Girl. one of my... You make a veggie burger out of hemp, and you will be like bouncing <laughs> off the walls full of protein, wanting to do push-ups and everything. You know, you were talking about how you make like smaller cookbooks, and I think um, that's one of the reasons why. For those just tuning in right now, um, we run a a cookbook publishing platform called Cookbook Cafe on BakeSpace.com, right. and it allows anyone to create a cookbook as both an ebook and as an iPad app. And the the fun thing for us is that the the format of the 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 platform is that you can make these smaller very niche cookbooks so that you're attracting the right person like I you know I talk to cookbook publishers all the time and I'm like hey would you produce a cookbook on tea because I we sometimes on Facebook we put a thing like what kind of cookbook would you like to see and they're so random they're so unique and there may be like 500 a thousand people who are interested in that particular topic but they're really interested in that topic, and I That's think right. just the idea to give people this opportunity to um, to really create something unique um, with video and with photos, uh, we are just absolutely delighted um, at just the the response that we've had so far. And then that's one of the reasons why we did the show because we really wanted to meet some of the authors who like gave us a chance and checked it out. Well, thank you for the chance. <laughs> it's a great opportunity, and I, I, I love this. I was a little nervous. I still am a little nervous. But, oh, you're doing um, great. You're doing great. But I, I do want to come out with some videos and be able to apply that. Um, I was actually going to be in my kitchen today and prepare something for everybody on camera, but then when I did my video test, it didn't turn out, um, the Wi-Fi. So I had to come back into my office. And I've watched a couple other shows, and I noticed I think Jeff was in his kitchen for the kitchen hangout finally because that was yeah. brought up on topic. <laughs> and I was like, well, for the new year, I'm going to kick this off in my kitchen, you know. <laughs> and um, because that's on Twitter, that's when I'm at. I'm hemp in the kitchen. 
You know, so, I have the hard time too because if I go into my kitchen, I have no Wi-Fi either, and it's ridiculous. I mean, it's just, or I go into my bedroom and I'm like, why am I getting everyone's Wi-Fi except mine? So I, I, right. I appreciate the enthusiasm, and we will, we will get it yeah. next time for sure. I will get it next time. I'll try <laughs> to get it. If I have to bring a cord all the way across the house, I will. We'll, we'll have to invite you for um, when you do the dessert. One. Oh yeah. Okay, for I'll sure. do that. That would be great. Well, let Let's show some screenshots of the cookbook just so, so sure. folks can see it. So um, Melody, who is our producer, um, is in control of the screenshots right now. So this, so I'll, I'll tell you what this is because I know that you don't have, um, Derek, you don't have an, an iPad. So I'll tell you what this is. Um, this is if you're in the iPad and you do a search in the bookstore. So the, the yes. Cookbook Cafe has like three components. There's a publisher. There's a marketplace where all the cookbooks live that's searchable contextually, so by recipe, by ingredient, by direction. And then there's also a library, so it becomes a reader as well. So when you download cookbooks, they actually become part of your master library. So oh, perfect. When, yeah, when you do a search, um, we're actually we're moving the website more towards this as well, just so you know. Um, okay. Just because once we developed the app, we've had the website since 2006, we developed the app and we were like, oh my god, we love this functionality, we love the way this looks. So as you notice, the home page is starting to look more like the app. We're, we're working on the recipes next and then we're going to be doing cookbooks. But this god. page is if I search for the word hemp, this mm -hmm. is what comes up on our search page in the bookstore. So you can oh, see... Cool. That the um, you know there's four cookbooks right now with the word hemp. Your your two are on the top, and then underneath it we have a couple of other um, healthy blender girl. She's fabulous. Yes. She's living in New yes. York now. She's uh, Tess is spectacular. I think she may be on our next kitchen party show. Oh, cool. Or, or, or within the next couple of weeks, um, we're going to be working with her, uh, doing some um, blender recipes, which I've been wanting to juice, and she knows how to use this darn Vitamix. I have this thing, and I, I like fail every recipe. It's terrible, so she's going <laughs> to teach me. But then if you click on, so Melody just changed the screen, and if you click on the bookstore, you saw that other thing with the four cookbooks. But yes. then if you click My Recipes, what it does is it actually sorts through all your cookbooks that you've downloaded for that term hemp. And it actually puts it into a nice little clean list. So I don't have to remember what cookbook I bought something in. You know, right. like when, when you're looking at your own cookbook on the wall, you know, your collection on the wall, and you're like, where was that darn cookbook? I mean, most people during the holidays cook with like five cookbooks. So this kind of solidifies that you can just bookmark something and say, put it to your favorites and have your entire menu on one page. Um, here is what your one of your recipes looks like, and I I actually was really curious at this. Um, can you tell us about what this is, and um, how did you come up with this? Uh, is that the hold hemp seed vegetarian inside out roll? Yes. Yes, that's for you, right mm. there. There you go. <laughs> um, but is that is that seaweed on the outside? Uh, that is. See, my problem is I don't like seaweed. Well, you, what is wrong with me? <laughs> you know, maybe you'll have to do a different option then. You well, know, what about rice paper? Like the yeah, um, you can do a rice paper or do something totally different if you want, uh, or just make your rice extra sticky and then just kind of roll it, and you'll have to experiment with that. Derek, I got your next cookbook. Forget the dessert one. Uh oh, oh I'm spitting on myself. You need to do. Hemp recipes Babette can eat. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll work on that. No and uh, it'll be like the Iron Chef, and I'll do the secret ingredient is <laughs> hemp. Exactly. And also uh, make sure it has no seaweed, because for some reason okay. I cannot do seaweed. I, and I can't do ginger. So let's see. No seaweed. <laughs> okay. I love how like the gotcha. next cookbook is like my personalized thing. There um, you go. We'll okay, work so on something like that. Melody just changed the screen. Okay. And this next thing, this is what your cookbook looks like when somebody goes to preview it. And they can, oh, okay. they can with their hand, um, pan through each of the pictures. And when you, the names are, of them are on the title cards, but when you, when you put your finger on top, you can't see it now because it's not interactive, but once you put your finger on something, the white card actually disappears. So people okay. can kind of see what the picture is. Um, and they, if they don't own the cookbook, 
um, the first recipe is always available, so they can see, kind of get an idea for like yeah. how you write your recipes. They can, they can't um, bookmark that recipe, but they can, they can get an idea for like the quality. Sure. I mean, what if like sure. there's nothing in the recipes and someone clicks buy and then there's there's nothing there? Um, it, that would be um, that'd be really sad. And they can see how many recipes are in total, and they can kind of glide through. There's also a second view which I didn't put here. But at the top, underneath the green little bar, there's like a, an extra view, which is index view. So you would then see all the pictures really small, and you would read the by, the, um, the stories. So you'd see like okay. the name of the recipe and the story, the name of the recipe and the story, and you'd see the little pi you'd see smaller pictures of the recipe. So you can kind of get an idea, an overview of kind of the story of what this cookbook is. Our goal is is really not just about the food; it's about why people decide to share these particular recipes. Um, and I just oh, I think we've been we've been delighted. It's all about a curated experience. When I first started Bakespace.com. It, the idea was everyone should be able to participate. Everyone should have. Everyone has at least one recipe they can share. Um, people can kind of uh, uh, put their entire database of recipes into our community. And now what we're finding out is that people really want to have a connection with an author, or they really want to have a connection to somebody who specializes in cupcakes or hemp or sure, whatever it is. Sure. And so I think having these sort of curated yeah. pods, these little, these these miniature cookbooks. I think it allows um, those people to really stand out and say, like, look, I'm an expert in bread making. I've never been paid to make bread, but I make bread at that's every right. single holiday ever. And that's, that's right. those are the people we really we're hoping use this platform um, because I think you know, if if they can like make a, the, you know some some cash. Uh, when they sell their cookbook um, by doing something that they are already doing um, and also being able to share it for us that's just that's like a that's a dream come true so he, this I thought was really cool marinated hemp shrooms marinated hemp shrooms yeah <laughs> I, I I thought I actually got that I had posted on Facebook after I made it I, I, I made a just marinated hemp uh, uh, hemp mushroom and then uh, one of one of my friends on there said, "Hey, why don't you make it hemp shrooms?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Okay, you know, I'm not trying to send out the wrong message, but in the world of California, I figured, well, okay, we'll go with that." So it's cute. It means you have a good sense of humor. Yeah, hemp shrooms. But uh, oh, that's really yummy. I like to make it. I like to pre-make it and then let it marinate for like a day or two. And then um, go ahead, and I I actually love to serve it over linguine pasta, and then um, well, our household is both Italian and Greek here, so um, we're pasta eating people, so connoisseurs, pasta connoisseurs. You know, I can totally relate because my my mom is French and Italian, and my dad is a hundred percent Albanian, so it's okay. it's very similar to the Greek culture. So I I have a feeling we we probably have more in common than we even realize it in terms of like our food. Like I can do feta. I can do feta. I don't, I don't even want to know what animal the feta cheese comes from. It's from a feta plant. It's from a feta plant. That's where it comes from. That, that's where it comes from. They grow them. They're, you find them usually in the mountains of Switzerland, but they're there. Yeah, they, they come in large buckets, you know. Yes. yes. <laughs> a lot of liquid. Uh, but yeah. um, the, I I just love hemp. You can make hemp bread. You can make hemp pasta. You can make pretty much anything out of hemp. I, I just love having the ability to you know, use the, the special ingredient of hemp. <laughs> you know, you know, what you should do is you should have it. Well, you pro your friends probably know, but it'd be fun for someone at home to make these recipes and then say to like their group you know somebody's gonna win something like two tickets to the Lakers or whatever they have in their house it doesn't have to be that extravagant but to be like what guess what the magical ingredient is in oh. all these recipes <laughs> and probably no one will be able to see it <laughs> right well if they know me they figure the hemp will be in it I exactly imagine. now so, this but... is really cool this agave apple avocado hemp smoothie Oh yeah, it's uh, it's mm. a, that one is really nummy. That's that you get both protein and fiber out of that girl. I'm telling you, and talk about sweetness too. So you get a whole mess of yummy in your mouth. So 
That's really cool because I have a really hard time when we do our smoothies. I have been addicted to, and this is going to sound awful, carrot apple beet drinks. And oh, yeah. supposedly those are like, it's a terrible combination. Like the apple and the carrot both have a ton of sugar in it. So mm -hmm. I keep wondering, I'm like, am, is this why I'm getting so fat? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you got to eat smaller carrots. You can't oh. go for the big, long, juicy ones. You need That's the smaller That's what I one. do. That's, That's my it. biggest problem. Oh, yeah, I can do like a whole, carrots. I can do a whole bag of carrots, and I can do like six apples. And, and I mean, we share, you know, obviously we, we share sure. it with the group here, but um, no, I just become like addicted to it. It's crazy. This, uh, this actually screenshot is what your cookbook looks like in mm -hmm. the app. So like if somebody's just coming to it for the first time and they see your cookbook, they can click on preview to actually see it like how you saw it where you saw all the boxes. They can oh, click yeah. on the price to buy it. If they click on your name, see how there's like a circle around it? Um, uh -huh. That um, that will click to your profile, which will ha I, th I think I have another uh, image uh, later on in this little presentation where you see that each cookbook promotes the other cookbook. So if you do five, six, seven cookbooks, every, oh, and I, yeah. I always tell people to like to kind of um, don't do all the cookbooks at once. Kind of layer it a little bit, like give it a little bit of time, so that when people start downloading those cookbooks, your next cookbook. It will be new, and it'll be like on the What's New page, but it can help promote your other cookbooks as well. Oh, that's super. That's great. Yeah. No, I, I, we love it. And then on the bottom, it says Connect with Author. So what most cookbooks don't have is they don't, you know, have the ability to see your Twitter feed and your personal profile, you know, your, your personal website, and then also your Bakespace account as well. So if you click on the B, it will actually open up in the app as like another browser, and it'll be like your Bakespace account. If you click on the little home, it'll go to your website or whatever URL you put in there. If you go on the little little bird, it goes to Twitter. And then we also have Facebook. And then on okay. the website, we have Pinterest. We haven't added that to the app okay. yet. We're going to add that in the next update. Oh, um, good. Yeah, I'm on all of those. Yeah, so it's like you can just put your URL. Um, in Because you. I can see that you put three of your URLs. Oh, here's what your profile looks like. So basically... Oh, um, yeah, I'm a hempaholic. I forgot to mention <laughs> Hi, I'm Derek, and I'm a hempaholic. I love hemp. I and you down, should, too. I scroll down the page a little bit, so it doesn't really start from right there. I just scroll oh, down so you can see the I recipes. I spoiled it for everybody. <laughs> um, so you can kind of, you know, when, when people do, if they were to click on that icon with your name, they actually go and see... Um, your other cookbooks too. So we, you know, we always tell people like if you're going to do a paid cookbook, you know, you may want to do one free cookbook to just get people to download it and you kind of get into their um, their library and do just like three or four recipes, five recipes. That's just something like, hey, here's what you get when you become part of like my group here. Um, check it out. If you like working with these recipes, you'll trust me so that you'll want to buy my other stuff. Um, and also the free cookbooks get downloaded. Like I think our number one seller right now has, um, gosh, I think she has like twenty five hundred, almost three thousand downloads oh, of her wow. of her of her cookbook. That's super. Well, because people want, you know, people like free. People sure, love that. Sure. Um, and if you're using it as a way to like promote the other stuff, or using it as a way to promote your website, putting in like three or four, you know, recipes um, is super easy. And yeah. what's cool about our platform is that. You know, once you put in your recipes in Bakespace, it's like it's like your entire recipe database. So when you go to build your next cookbook, all you have to do is just select what recipes you want to add for the next cookbook. So you don't have okay. to upload things again. Um, I like that because, um, especially if a group is making a cookbook and like they're getting like a hundred submissions on recipes, mm -hmm. they can go through and like remix their cookbook. So say oh, Christmas cool. comes and they had like six cookie recipes that would be perfect for Christmas. It allows that group or whomever to then say, well, here's our holiday cookie, you know, yes. issue. Here's our, you know, like, um, low fat or gluten free. And it allows them to have that flexibility. And hemp is, hemp is gluten-free. Oh, it is? Oh, that's yeah. right. And then when, you, when you're making it with the, when you include it into your uh, dough recipes, what I like to make hemp pizza, hemp dough pizza, or um, the, it's a little heavier. So you're going to have, you, one piece will get you full where you don't have to eat a whole bunch, and you're getting your protein in there. Oh, you need to, you need to get some hemp. Buy my cookbook. <laughs>
girl? <laughs> I am, I am. Oh, you uh, probably get it for free, though, don't you? I could, I could. I, yeah, actually, well, I, can, I can access actually, all the books for free. Actually, go, um, go down. You can, you can get hemp, too, at, like, Whole Foods or Sprouts or another um, health mart. Um, I know some of the vitamin shops do carry a smaller selection of it. But my buddy at Hippie Butter, I hate to plug yeah, him. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't hate to plug him. I want to plug him, but I don't want to sound like a broken record. <laughs> plug him, record. plug him, plug him. <laughs> but what he does is he all orders are shipped for like $5. So you don't even have to go to the store to get it. And then it's, he usually includes like a free product. So it really takes Very cool. place of the $5. And Brad over at Hippie Butter, he's, he's actually here in Texas as well. So him and I, he has soaps, lotions. I become, like I said, I become a hempaholic. I eat it. I I don't use the chemicals any longer on my skin. Um, I used to have severe flakes, and with dark, what little dark hair I have left, I always looked like that girl on uh, the Breakfast Club making that little oh, yeah. <laughs> snow on her paper. And with the hemp, I don't have that. And I know um, different nationalities. Um, use hemp oil in their hair as well because their hair dries out. And uh, I, I say, everybody, go to hemp. Hey, do you, do you think my, my boyfriend gets on his hands, he gets really dry skin, like during the winter time, yeah. like so bad that his his knuckles are literally like cracking. Yes. And it's so painful for him. So do you think the hemp oil would be a good... Yes. Um, hemp oil is terrific for it. Here it is. I, I take it right out of the bowl. And I apply it right directly to your skin, and it's probably hard to see. Yeah, I can see but, that. Um, after you rub it in, it's it's not like a, a real oily, it's not real greasy, and it's non-toxic. That's the best part. So if you wipe your eye or close to your eye region, yeah. I, I rub it all on my face and hair, and um, I smell like a hippie, but I, I taste great. <laughs> So, <laughs> it tastes great. But um, um, it is it is great. I do I do use it as a body lotion. Um, there are other products, um, but it, it after he yes tell Eric he should use it. Okay. <laughs> I will. I will. Because so. he's always he's like he. It's so sad because he's a grown man. I mean, you know, it's yes. like. You know, you look at him and you're like, this guy's got it together. And here yes. he is, he's like, oh, my hands, my hands. I always feel so bad. I'm like, get I got to Get him a know. bottle of hemp oil. Have him apply it. He'll see it within probably a week. It takes time with everything. Yeah. Um, and he's probably going to, like, I have to use it on a daily basis, just like everybody else uses lotions after your baths or whatnot. Um, but hemp is, helps promote nail growth and hair growth. So I've even actually grown some hair back back here that wasn't there. So you know what you should do in your cookbook is you should put your link to your homepage, yes. a link to an affiliate link, so that you make money every time someone buys the hemp. Yes, oil. that's on there. <laughs> um, go to Hippie Butter number one sixty nine. I'm an affiliate <laughs> with him. Yeah, if awesome. you couldn't tell already. So. Awesome. You, should, you I will. You know, I'm going to ask you for that number again. Yes. So when I when I go purchase something, because I really I really want to try that stuff now. Okay. So we we did the breakfast, we did the lunch, and you're working on the dinner, um, and then I'm, I'm trying to convince you to do desserts. Yes, I am. I am going to do desserts, and um, what I try to do is I come up with creative ideas that are both hip and trendy. Um, when I first started doing the cookbooks, my brother, I got to say hi to my family, mom, dad. Mom, Dad, I come from a split family, so sister, brothers, everybody. <laughs> um, but my brother says to me, so what are you going to do with hemp when I started telling him I was going to do cookbooks and cooking with hemp? And I said, you know, I, he goes, what are you going to do, just put it on like a, a peanut butter sandwich? I'm like, well, if you want to, there's a recipe. You know? <laughs> so go ahead. But um, I find hip and trendy ways, and like you said, with uh, when you're making – like you know, the blender drinks or something of that nature. You want something that'll kind of go together. So I'm not trying to just put hemp in everything, but if I have to, I will. Well, because it does. It's a, it's a it, nutty flavor, right? It is nutty. It tastes like uh, sunflowers slash mm. pine nuts together. Um, the oil is a little bit. I take a couple of tablespoons of the oil just straight out of the bottle. Um, but my wife doesn't like that as much as just taking the seeds. Now. 
the seeds are uh, they're soft. You can toast these, and you you can actually make the flour from the seeds. So um, there's hemp flour, hemp protein flour, um, hemp oil, hemp seed. There's the toasted um, hemp seeds. So there's a lot of different varieties. And, and yeah, you can you can throw them in a salad, make a vinaigrette with the hemp oil. I'm I'm talking different good yummy flavors that. My brother is he needs to try some of my hemp. He hasn't he has tried to. it? Um well he Wait, what's his name? Because now we gotta put him to shame. Oh, you're gonna out him? Yeah. No, I well <laughs> my brother Tom. Tom, 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 yeah, Tom. My brother Tom. Tom, Tom. But my sister Nikki, she lo um she loves the hemp. She's just starting to get into it. She has uh um well, let's just say it's good for um autoimmune problems and she is um, she's had problems where she's looking into other um, other ways to like alternative yeah because she's had you know what is that uh, gluten I, she's got like gluten, celiac celiac um, now I don't want to I don't know if this is all her so she if she's watching she's not going to call me and say <laughs> She'd be like, hey <laughs> yeah boy you made me look like I'm you know her, one her name is Jane, <laughs> Jane that's right but um, it it helps and like I said I'm not a nutritionist but if you look into it more and more um, it, doctors probably are suggesting it more now that the hemp movement has finally moved more forward in a positive direction and that's what I'm still trying to overcome is the stereotype and I know when you looked at the cookbook and you commented well this is gonna be something you know and I hope it is and I want more and more people to realize it and I know there's other like the blender girl she'll use a couple of different hemp recipes and and the, th the great thing about the hemp community that I'm learning is everybody as able to share and it's not cut through. I mean, I can bring up um, like the Hemp Out Agency. They're a marketing branding company, and everybody just loves to help promote other people in the industry. And you know, when, I think that's food in general. I yeah. I, I gotta tell you, I I've been, I've been you know six years almost this well like six and a half years in food and also in tech, and I spent 13 years in television. And I gotta say, the food community, anything that is cooking, baking, decorating, they are like the warmest people ever. They are so giving and thoughtful. Oh, it's I mean, it's super friendly. It's nice always, to be involved need another in the recipe. community. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And ever you always need another recipe. That's absolutely correct. I mean, because I mean, otherwise uh, you're just eating, you know, salting crackers forever is not fun. You need to mix it up. So exactly, and you know, I mean, people always they they, I, I'm always impressed and surprised at what people do with ingredients and how they change things and how what you thought, you know, I saw a French toast the other day that was like prepared with a with a cup with um syrup at the bottom and like they were like little halves of French toast or little cubes. And I was like, oh, my God, I must eat French toast right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd love French toast with hemp. That would okay, be good. We're going to have to make a hemp syrup. <laughs> but, um, Ooh, I, hemp syrup. That would be good. Syrup. You could, you know, that would be interesting. You could sell that. Like, I could see that at Whole Foods. Well, hey, I, I don't know if it's out there. I'll have to find out. You but, should Google uh, that. That would be pretty cool. That would actually yeah. be pretty cool. Now, hey, before we leave, because we're gonna we're gonna close up in a second, yes, uh, a couple of minutes. Um, what did you think of the widget that we gave you for the cookbook to put on your website? Um, oh, I loved it. I put it I put it on there, and I hope uh, people when they go to the web page they click on it um, because it takes you directly right there to Bakespace, and it's it's easy to use, and it was easy for me to also include right onto my page. Good. So okay. and I have just basically a simple blog too. I, I don't have a high tech blog and it was easy to just put it right in there. So Good. Thank I'm glad you. to hear that. Because sometimes Thank you. like my my mother has made a cookbook and she's like, Where do I read this? I'm like, Oh my god, you're discouraging me. <laughs> I'm like, please. I'm like, look at the page. Like, please tell me and I, I, just, I think sometimes she just like she'll look at the page, but she's just it's because she knows me. She just doesn't read the page. No. And I'm like, you're really discouraging. Please don't tell me everyone is doing this. 
<laughs> like, no, um, not everybody's. No, not everybody's. Doing that. Good. So good, 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 good. Well, I am really looking forward to your next cookbook. We are going to add this video to your um, to your lunch uh, cookbook if you don't oh, mind. Oh, terrific! I think that'd be no, really I don't cool. mind. Awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you I hope cookbook. I didn't make too much of a fool of myself. But no, are you? Thanks kidding? for having me. Hey, so you've never done a Google Hangout before, right? Uh, this is my first. Well, now I've ruined you because now it's so like I'm done. You're, yeah. <laughs> now every time like you go dinner. to another hangout, you're gonna be like, um, "Where's the funniness? Where's the oh, where's the humor?" <laughs> we can do it. Let's hang out anytime. <laughs> Give me a call when you're bored. <laughs> awesome, uh, Derek. You were fantastic. You were great. I look forward Thank to you. all your other cookbooks. Uh, for those watching at home, if you want to make your own cookbook, go to either cookbookcafe.com or bakespace.com and click on the cookbook cafe menu bar. Um, also we're in the iTunes store, just search Cookbook Cafe. We're an iPad right now. We're working on iPhone, we're working on um, Android, uh, we're working on taking over the world. No. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. One recipe at a time, okay? One cookbook at a time. All right, well I will see you guys next week. Um, I forgot who is our next guest. Um, oh, you know, we have a woman who did a, um, her name is Liz and L-I-Z-Z -Z, and she did a vegan cookbook that was really cool so we're gonna see her next week and talk about her recipes um, and find out where she's from and uh, Derek if you do go to South by Southwest and you go to Austin when I'm there we definitely have to hook up I'm okay. producing my food blogger conference there so uh, you will you are invited to be a part of Thank it you. if you want if you want to hang out um, also we may have a party that we're gonna be producing this will be like our fourth year in a row so uh, if anyone's interested in that go to techmunchconf.com and or just Google Tech Munch, and uh, I guess that's it. Well, thanks so much for for coming by. Bye, guys. See well, you next week. Thank you week. very much. Bye, bye. Bye.